During that raid on bin Laden's compound, they seized a bunch of computers, DVDs, and documents from the house. And we're learning that al-Qaeda, apparently, according to the documents, according to reports, was planning to blow up railroads in the United States right around September 11th, 2011, the 10th anniversary. Right now, we are joined by Congressman Peter King. He's the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, an influential and important voice on Homeland Security Matters. Congressman King, welcome back. Greg, always good to be with you. How you doing? Terrific. Uh, how concerned should we be? Apparently, uh, as we've just mentioned, uh, documents indicated Al Qaeda wanted wants to hit railroads this uh, this fall. Yeah, Greg. I don't think we should be any more concerned than we already should have been. Uh, and you know, by that I mean uh, most counterterrorism experts have said that uh, our most vulnerable uh, uh, area to be attacked is mass transit. Here in New York alone, we have you know five five million passengers, a thousand entrances and exits. 500 stations, uh, Long Island Railroad, Metro North. So this is clearly a major target. I think if there's any advantage in this coming out, I think we're going to see a lot more documents like this coming out over the next several months as the uh, uh, data is analyzed. Uh, to me, the main thing is it's, it's a, a wake-up call to Americans that we really are still at war. Now, here in New York, you know, the NYPD, MTA, uh, Port Authority, uh, Joint Terrorism Task Force, they've been aware for some time of the importance of being ready for a uh, mass transit attack. So uh, to me, it reinforces what we already knew, but it's good to get it out there because not every area is as equipped and as ready as New York is. Mm. And this is just because bin Laden's dead doesn't mean that this war is over. Far from it. Congressman, you were at Ground Zero yesterday. You met with the president. I saw you there. Uh, tell us uh, your, your impressions of, uh, of the event. I thought it was very moving. And I've said this from the start. I thought the president has handled this operation flawlessly. I thought yesterday was just the uh, the right amount of it was samba, but it wasn't maudlin. Uh, the president did not make himself the center of it as far as giving a speech or uh, and you know, being close enough to listen as he was speaking with the families. I found it very very human. Uh, you know, there was one uh, young man there. His father was killed on September 11th, and now he's uh, six months on the job on the NYPD. And the president really seemed seemed struck by that. So. Uh, I, all in all, I, I thought it was a wonderful way to commemorate. I thought it was good having Mayor Giuliani there. It sort of, uh, you know, closed the circle there from September 11th, uh, you know, uh, 2001 to the killing of bin Laden today under uh, uh, President Obama. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was quite an event. Uh, Want to ask you, sir, about uh, Pakistan? A lot of folks are saying, you know, what's up here? I mean, why wouldn't the authorities there help us out or or no more? Perhaps they were uh, shielding him, and I, I, that that seems to be a real possibility. Uh, I heard on cable TV some people say, "All right, cut off the aid. That's it. We're you know they're they're, they're an enemy now." But you can't do that with Pakistan, uh, particularly when they have 200 nuclear weapons. Uh, it is a nuclear power, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And, you know, where they're strategically located is so vital to us. On the other hand, Greg, we can't let it keep going the way it's been. Up till now, we had made a value judgment that it was more good than bad to be involved with uh, Pakistan. But finding out what we did about bin Laden hiding there for these six years, and somebody in the Pakistani government had to know about it. So we have to reappraise the relationship. But I agree with you. Just to say we're cutting it off would really serve no purpose. On the other hand, we can't let it go on the way it is. So this is going to take, I think, some tough negotiations. Uh, with them. Uh, I met the other day with their uh, chief of mission in Washington, telling them that you know, things had to change. The American people can't continue to give $3 billion a year uh, when you know, the leading terrorist in the world and our leading enemy is living right there amongst the uh, people of Pakistan. But no, this is going to be very delicate, very sensitive, not because we love Pakistan or anything else, but because they're in a very strategic position. And we do need them, uh, but we also need them to be much more cooperative. Congressman King, real quick, have you heard anything about this raid that we haven't heard? I know information has been updated. Uh, anything, anything intriguing, anything that you might have that you can share with us that we haven't heard yet? No, nothing really dramatic other than, uh, you know, we got a uh, minute-by-minute account from Admiral McRaven, who was the head of the SEALs. And, you know, this is out of a movie. I mean, this is what these guys did, uh, you know, to land, to have the firefights. And uh, when they saw bin Laden, uh, I guess to me what struck me the most is as they were coming to the third floor and they saw bin, Ta- bin Laden's head in, 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 in the doorway. That's what you figure that, that first seal to actually realize that they had made contact with bin Laden. The first shot missed, bin Laden went in the room, and then, of course, they finished him off later. But I just thought that split second after all of that in the dark, going over there after nine and a half years to actually see bin Laden's head out, you know, 
uh, peering out of the doorway. You know, what went through that Navy SEAL's heart at that moment? That's wild, and we'd love to know. We may never know. Uh, we may not know that person's identity ever, but maybe we will. Congressman Peter Quint King, uh, thanks so much for being back on Good Day New York. Greg, thank you. Good seeing you yesterday. Absolutely, yes, sir. Still ahead on Good Day New York.